Hello guys, Aloy Andalus here, and this is Max News for February. Let's start by 3ds Max Max 2A. It has been updated to support the newest Arnold. It's a small update, but has some interesting stuff, like USD procedurals for first time in 3ds Max we can load USD, and as well supporting tilt correction and lens distortion on the physical camera. Unity has been updated to 2019.3 and now supports third-party renderers materials, and that's cool because it supports by default now Autodesk Arnold Standard Surface and Autodesk 3ds Max physical material, so you will be able to import your materials from 3ds Max directly into Unity. Bright Clone has been updated to 4.12. It's easier to synchronize randomized properties between generators and the ability to control a generator's offset parameter using expressions. Nested generators have been improved, clipping splines have been improved, and other general improvements on the tool. Octopus 2 has been released. It's an octal menu system for 3ds Max that offers a fully scriptable and customizable menu system. It costs 25 euros. UB Set Editor is a script that brings similar features to Maya's UAB Set Editor in 3ds Max. It's totally free, you can find it on ScriptSpot. Cityscape Pro is a new parametric modeling plugin focused on architecture. You can create different types of spline projections, water, procedural terrain, all types of modifiers for create roads, snow, grass, all in a parametrical way. The plugin costs $39.99 a month, and you can find as well a demo version. Project Lavina is now open on a preliminary beta. You only need to have a license from V-Ray uh, to make it work. So if you have a V-Ray license, you can download our now Project Lavina and try it. You have a plugin to export everything from 3ds Max because basically it's using a V-Ray scene. And once you load it in Project Lavina, you need to have an RTX card because it's fully based on RTX technology. You will have a really fast ray tracing, almost real time. Obviously it has some limitations right now, but you can actually import all types of animations and tweak materials and interact in real time with the illumination from, from the environment. CreaWin Limited has released Thai Lore Do. It's a node-based tool to write scripts without a line of code. It is compatible with several languages, including MaxScript and Python. It costs $83, and there is a demo version available as well. Guillermo Leal has announced that he's developing a new EV generator plugin for 3ds Max. Everyone remembers GuruWare great EV generator, but was discontinued. Uh, so this could, can be, if he releases it, a very good replacement. iCube has announced the release of Multiscatter 1.524. There are improvements on viewport speed, multi-painter tools, ability to distribute items using reference objects, and others. If you need to buy a new high-end graphic card, check the CG channel new comparison using mostly the RTX 2080 Ti. They compared it in 3ds Max with the RTX Titan and previous GTX 1080s. It's really interesting, for example, seeing the increase in performance in wireframe. From the 1080, in wireframe mode to the 2080 Ti, you get double the performance, for example. If you buy one of these graphic cards, it's quite possible that you think to render by GPU, and it compares as well V-Ray and Arnold and others. And you can see that the 2080 Ti is quite a good option. And uh, Titan RTX for the price is only worth it if you really need the extra RAM that offers. Jao Victor Ferreira created a very complex rigging course based on a character for $225. Also on rigging, Stefan Henlein created a free tutorial in how to rig a spring in 3ds Max. We have an update for Project Manager, the asset manager for 3ds Max. It has the ability to manage multiple directories at once, as well as the ability to auto-assign previews that share the same file name and others. Motiva has announced the release of Layama. It's a new tool that creates 300 degrees tours in just a few clicks. The website that Layama produces will run on any modern browser, including mobiles. Layama is compatible with 3ds Max, by now only with V-Ray and Corona. Cost 180 euros, but if you buy it right now, it has some discounts. Martin Solarte released Quick Environment Script. 
it's free by donation and it allows you to accelerate your workflow with HDRIs. It works with V-Ray and Corona. You can search by keywords uh, HDRIs like Sunny or Interior or things like that. Switch between HDRI and V-Ray Sky and multiple options. Align multiple objects by Spline Dynamics does what the name says. It aligns multiple objects based on bonding box and is totally free. And the demo reel of the month goes with any doubt to Brandon Riza. Brandon Riza left Blur Studios after 16 years, 16 years working there. I grew up and I went into visual effects showing the amazing work that Brandon was doing with 3ds Max at the time. Uh, all what you see here is 3ds Max. It's one of the best working with Particle Flow back then, Rye Fire, Fume Effects, whatever. All the demo reel is simply inspiring, a lot of great effects, and thinking that a lot of these things was done 16 years ago. All the best to Brandon on his new projects, and I hope that you can enjoy this, this demo reel because it's totally worth it. For all of these people that say that 3ds Max now it's only for Archbeath, well, you can show this amazing stuff done during the last 16 years. And we will see right now different news concerning not Archbeath, but effects in 3ds Max. Anselm von Seher is back with free tutorials. Really great tutorial over one hour of type flow disintegration. Check it out. Redefine FX created a full complete course, uh, it's by payment, about type flow. It covers destruction, you will destroy all covering the basics of good destruction, metal destruction, concrete destruction, and then create a final project with it. But that's not all because you have Alan McKay, and Alan McKay created over 15 hours of tutorials covering type flow and as well Phoenix, creating uh, building destruction. It's totally free, it will be released one video a week. But if you are into thinking particles, there are material as well covering. Joe Gunn created a complete tutorial and it shares the file for free, covering guided simulation in thinking particles. Sebas Technologies interviewed Joe Scar, effects supervisor on Skyline Visual Effects, talking about the effects that he lead on Midway. Uh, they talk about how they set up thinking particles setups, uh, how to create different trailing systems, destruction. It's a really in-deep talk about breaking down and knowing exactly what has been going on behind the scenes. Really complete and really interesting if you want to, to watch. Phoenix FD 4.0 was released last month and this month they released one webinar. It's free. It's over one hour covering all the new features of Phoenix. ILM XLab is a division of ILM, Industry of Light and Magic, where they create all type of alternative projects. They work with VR and park shows and all these kind of things. There is an interview online talking about the making of, of a Star Wars Vader Immortal. They cover all aspects of the project, but you can see that for modeling they use and it's time to talk about Typeflow. So, a lot of things on Typeflow as usual. We have a smooth modifier has been multi-threaded, way faster. Subdivide operator to add detail to your simulations has been as well improved, it's way faster. And we have time-independent animation for all operators, not only for a scale. So now you can animate any or almost every value on Typeflow based on the event age. Tyson is as well working on a physics fluid operator that allows two-way interaction with Phoenix. On the works, we have as well wind with occlusion, so objects on a scene will stop wind from happening. On the forum, we had the usual activity that we had always on the Typeflow subcategory. A lot of new cool stuff and examples from the community, a lot of creativity. We saw a lot of crowd simulations going on with Typeflow, showcasing how it's a very flexible tool to create all types of different effects. If you are not on Facebook and you use Typeflow, you are missing a lot. I think that you should join. A lot of people is sharing files, so it's very easy to grab one of these files, try to see how they are creating the effect and apply it for your own projects.
A final special mention for Oleg Vdovenko, create an amazing, an amazing uh, short film made by himself with a strange creator. Really creepy, but at the same time really good. And all this has been done in 3ds Max. You can see he posts this on Instagram. But on YouTube, there are different work in progress videos showcasing some of the process using 3ds Max together with Typhlo for all the liquid stuff and cloth. Remember, in London, 4th of March, there is the 3ds Max meeting group with a huge lineup of good presenters. And that's all, guys. Thank you so much. Please leave a comment, like the video. If you like it a lot, please consider to subscribe, give it to the bell so you can get notifications, and share it with your friends. It's super important. And thanks a lot to my Patreons, it makes this video possible. Please consider to donate if you like it. It's a lot of effort to do these videos. And yeah, uh, I think that next month will be as well with a lot, a lot of news. So great times for 3ds max see you guys